All right, welcome back, guys. I, I'm a bit fluey, so I'm going to make this quick. But what we will say is this is what's important, right? So we got the Caprol Macro Bitcoin Index right here, right now. And usually when this turns green, we go absolutely monumentally parabolic. I'm talking big, beefy green sausages towards the sky. And if you like that, like the video, leave us a comment. Let me know how you're feeling about the market right now, okay? But the main point is, yes, if you look over here on the right-hand side, we have just turned green, okay? Yes, this was September 22, but uh, that's essentially two green ticks now we've had in a row. This is a massively, massively bullish sign. Uh, all I would say is before you do just fly in with investments left, right, and center, hundreds of thousands of dollars, bang it in 100X. No, don't do that, all right? Wait till we break the important highs because there'll still be massive, massive amounts amounts of opportunity uh, when we do actually break those levels, okay? So it's better to be cautious here, but as of right now, looking ridiculously bullish across the board. If we are looking at crypto bubbles, you can see here, you can see just everything is green, all right? This is usually a bit of a worrying sign. It usually means we can get a pullback. If we look at fear and greed, we can also see a 61 on the board. So yes, uh, I would expect a potential pullback fairly soon, but as of right now, and usually in this stage in the run, uh, it does look like we are going parabolic fairly soon, okay? So keep an eye out for that. China getting involved with crypto again. Okay, we're seeing a Kamala, say, blockchain in a speech, so everyone thinks she's pro crypto even though she's just going to create a centralized digital, digital currency and make everything else illegal but uh yeah i mean it's a bullish sign anyway if the market's going to react in that way etfs we can see here on the right hand side just massive massive inflows yesterday uh just banging it through with 365 million in inflows that's probably the highest we've had in months okay so really really good there and besides that uh yeah that's pretty much it for that one if we are gonna if we are also gonna say here before we do jump into the charts uh, we did put out some patreon updates the paid ones yesterday were on cake okay so these are signals and both of those signals did come through. We had another one down here, but we didn't hit the criteria to get into that trade. And I just realized you guys can't see that. So if I do show you this again, we can see here that yes, this is cake. This is uh, this is the signals we put in in the paid, uh, which is 10 bucks a month, right? Pay Patreon group, 1% there. And then once we broke out, yes, uh, we started initiating this measure move for 3%. Beautiful trade there. If you got those, fantastic stuff. But yeah, this one was the one that didn't hit the criteria. As for free Patreon updates, which again, you've just press follow uh, those did come into fruition as well we can see we targeted this one percent trade here and we also said uh, that yes uh, we were looking for potential trades uh, before that level as well. I've actually deleted this on the chart at this point. But uh, yes, it was a fantastic couple trades towards the upside yesterday on Bitcoin and uh, on the paid signals as well. But if we are looking at Bitcoin on the macro, we can see here we were talking about this inverse parabolic curve. That is now faded, looking fantastic here. We can see with this thing uh, that yes, uh, we are out of this curve now and we are trying to push a above this trend line as well as above this last local high. Uh, with this last local high, guys, uh, this is super important, right? Uh, because we have actually traded above this level, which typically just is a bullish sign. Anyway, we are currently above the four hour volume weighted ATR band on the daily. And usually when we get above that, uh, we can expect big moves towards the upside. Okay, if we sustain above it in a bullish uptrend, that's when you know we're parabolic, as you can see here uh, with this red line that we're pointing out. So uh, if we can really stay above that four hour volume, volume weighted ATR band. It's a hugely bullish sign. We should be expecting to get up to the daily next, which is at 76k. Okay, so looking fantastic for Bitcoin right now. I would say just be aware of a potential pullback here with uh, the amount of greed in the market right now. Okay, but as of right now, we can see that yes, uh, everything has played out towards the downside so far. Uh, we have made very important lows and now we are violating this bull market barrier that you can see on your screens. If we get above this bull market barrier at 74k, usually that means we are just, we're free, we're free, we're free flying. Okay, and that... <laughs> That's just the bull market, uh, massive greed mode, euphoria all around, everyone bang it in, right? So look around that 54 to, uh, to uh, sorry, that 74 to 78K level. If we can get above the, above those levels, that's really the time to be banging in the big investments in which we look for about 20% on spot up to 100K, okay? That's the plan right now. That's what we're looking for. And I just realized I'm not on logarithmic because I was trying to see something the other day, but uh, yeah, nothing, nothing too much has changed there anyway. 
anyway. Uh, as for resistances here, guys, on the long term, 88k is going to be an important one. All right, and this will go up over time. Uh, but towards the downside, if we do end up crashing here, which I hate to say it because we are super bullish right now, but if we do end up crashing, uh, then uh, yeah, the first warning sign would be losing this trend line. Okay, so this trend line currently, uh, if we were to lose it today, would be at 62k. If we lose 62k, guys, uh, then this is basically a trap and we should probably expect to come down to the mid 50s uh, again. But if we can make a higher low from that point, again, fairly bullish coming through here. Okay, let's move down to the midterm here. As we talked about, this trade is done. Fantastic stuff. The next trades we're looking for here guys uh, is if we do break this structure we're looking for a one percent trade towards the downside if we uh, if we break this high here guys uh, then we're looking for a one percent trade into this next liquidation zone all right and if you don't know what these liquidation zones are these come in when we have big open interest moves and we have big volume based moves uh, and this will basically take that price when that happened and then uh, figure out what a 10x liquidation would be figure out what a 25x liquidation would be uh, and all of the other liquidation depending on how you set up this indicator but the 10x is the most valuable to us here guys because this is probably what I've been using to trade since I discovered this indicator probably about six six months ago okay this has taken over all of my trading strategies this is the one you want to look at because these just get filled every time okay so uh yeah just keep an eye on these we do have some towards the downside as well so yeah I mean 56k as we talked about is really in range but uh yeah as of right now we are heading up these the next targets we're not going to be fading this uptrend much more okay we are going to be banging it in uh, as this as this does come up uh, and uh, look to basically tackle the 66k levels all right and that's really the next trade i'm looking for here if we do actually uh, break down from this point then there is this one percent trade coming through and as we talked about yes uh, this structural line is going to be super important so uh, yes if we do essentially break down below 64.7 we will be looking for a trade down to about 64 Okay, not a huge trade, but a trade nonetheless, uh, one you would be expecting for us to uh, essentially come down from. You can see here as well, if we do bring up the volume, uh, yeah, the volume weighted ATR bands here, we've got the four hour here. This is really where I'm going up the trade. So the four hour, we come down, okay, we test this 21 EMA and we, yes, we can bounce from that point. But the idea is that we wick down, we get 1%. And then if it does want to continue up from there, fantastic stuff. Pullback is great. Okay, pullbacks are healthy. Uh, and then we go from there. But uh, yeah, that would be the short trade I'm looking for there. Uh, besides that, if we do go down to the degen zone here, uh, pretty much the same scenario. All right, uh, if we do want to break a above the 60 minute volume weighted ATR band, it would be fantastically bullish. Okay, so we've hit this once, we bounce down from it, we can break this high again, very, very bullish sign for the short term. And again, just targeting those high 66s uh, from that point. Okay, so keep an eye on this one, but that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Have a fantastic day. Be sure to drop a like on there, all right? And uh, <laughs> I will see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day, cheers.